Hey guys, back, welcome back to another video by Fully Informed Trader, Fly Trade for Short Knowledge for Everyone. Right here I'm going to be talking about the S&P 500 ticker. Um, and basically that is the index, um, basically the primary index you use to analyze the stock market. Uh, right now, the S&P 500 is having a pretty good day on the session. I did gap up. Um, again, it's yet to be seen whether this is going to be a continuation where it does break into an uptrend. It breaks the previous top or the, previ the previous top or it continues to trade lower and it continues to downward trend. Right now, it did find some support at the 200-day moving average before it eventually got, it got a nice little bounce. Um, eventually, I do anticipate the stock to eventually roll over. The market, to, it, might, it might actually roll over. So you want to watch very closely as to whether or not it does or doesn't. The volume is pretty low considering the amount of momentum we have. Well, not really low. It's actually tremendous. So considering the sheer amount of volume we have just for the morning session alone on the S&P 500, that means that there's going to be a lot of volatility going forward. It doesn't necessarily mean the market has necessarily reversed yet, just because of the fact that it is a, a short cover rally. Um, and, and there is that. And to me personally, the way I see a short cover rally is, is that this isn't an indication that the market has necessarily reversed the trend until it breaks above that 1,332 area, and so as long as the dollar index continues to fall. Now there is some news coming out of Europe that is indicating that perhaps, and just perhaps the fact that maybe. Um, the markets might stabilize because of a certain bailout package, or perhaps the Federal Reserve Bank, the U.S. Federal Reserve Bank, is going to go ahead and uh, unleash another round of quantitative easing. But again, those are just a lot of rumors, and if it doesn't really play out the way we all plan it to be, because again, politicians aren't the most competent people on planet Earth, um, we could be disappointed and the stock market could eventually roll over into another decline. But this area was really interesting to me. I did notice, like, w when I first saw the market breaking down, I really liked that 200-day moving average. I really liked buying quality stocks because even in the market economy, the, the best of stocks are also cheaper, not only the worst of stocks as well. I still stick by what I stand for. I still think bad companies should be shorted, and I think good companies should be continued to be bought up. Um, but, yeah, this is, you know, this is my standard strategy in a bear market. And even, even in a bull market, you know, you can still find short opportunities. You just have to be a little more selective. But again, that does it for me for today, guys. I still think the S&P 500 has not necessarily reversed the trend into an uptrend until it breaks above 1,332. It is a good idea to play it a little safe when trading these markets, and nothing is for certain, at least not yet. Just keep buying those quality stocks and ignore trying to be in those more speculative names. Take care.